are very pleased to show that documentary in Perugia uh, because uh, I believe that uh, maybe the Italian audience is not so familiar with uh, Charlie Hebdo and with uh, Cabu. This documentary was a portrait of Cabu, uh, which is one of the most famous cartoonists in which was, I'm sorry, one of the most famous cartoonists uh, uh, in France. Uh, maybe he was not so famous in Italy, I don't know, but I believe so. So I think we are glad to present that documentary tonight in Perugia. Cabu was a very nice and peaceful guy. And uh, what happened in January in Paris uh, is still a shock for, for both of us. If you talk of freedom of expression, of expression uh, in large, uh, maybe Charlie was something a little bit special because uh, they don't have real limit. Uh, they don't have real limit. They can uh, be uh, very strong against religion, against politics, and uh, against all the. the all the, the, the institution, even if they want to be free as before, it's not really possible. Now they have to think, uh, each time they, they made something, they have to think, they have to be responsible, and so maybe in a way or another the terrorists uh, win this battle, unfortunately. Charlie Hebdo was born uh, under another name in the 60s, under the name of Arakiri. So it's a long history. It started in the 60s uh, and they did fight uh, from the 60s until now for the freedom of expression. And uh, in the 60s in France, uh, freedom of expression was not so easy. And so uh, they did fight in the 60s, they did fight uh, in the 70s. The first uh, edition of this newspaper under the name Arakiri was suspended uh, in the 70s. So that's why they switched to another newspaper named Charlie Hebdo. Uh, so freedom of expression is a continuing uh, fight. I mean. There is a, always reasons to fight for the freedom of expression in the 60s as now. <laughs>